Good people. What time is it? I've been up for what? Seven o'clock. I think I've been up since like five thirty. Um, today is day three of my six day reserve block. And last night they assigned me um, rap again. So I'm on call today from 10 a.m. to midnight. Um, and I was looking, is this, that, that thing takes a while for this water to get like hot, hot. I should have let it boil a little longer. Um, so I was looking at the trips in open time and there's a trip that I want to work. It would be a four day so it would um it would be from tuesday to friday which is the rest of the days that i'm on reserve so it would just carry out through all my reserve period um and it has a xna dca xna and then back to chicago layover xna where is that arkansas I still haven't learned <laughs> airport codes for those of y'all that like stress airport codes and I'm not gonna lie some airlines do test you on them um, some don't like this airline I'm with we did not have yeah that is Northwest Arkansas not that I'm excited about that layover I just don't want to that would be a double X and A and DCA is what um, Washington pretty sure DCA yeah Ronald Reagan Washington so that would be kind of nice to go to Washington so I would love that trip that's the whole point of me telling y'all about this <laughs> I would love to work that trip it's on the Embraer 175 that's the biggest aircraft we fly it's the most comfortable one for me it's the number two position um, yeah but I called them earlier and I was like, can I have this trip? And they were like, well, your wrap doesn't start until 10, so we can't assign you anything until then. So, fingers crossed that when, oh, and it's a deadhead back from DCA to um, Chicago on the last day. So it would be one leg the first day, one leg the second day, three legs the third day, work one leg the last day, and then catch a ride back here which would be pretty good um and then my day would end at two and then hopefully they would release me and then i can go home because i'm off this upcoming weekend the 7th through the 10th so if i could get home earlier on friday that would be good um so yeah so i just have to kind of wait and see what happens i mean you know who knows they may or may not give it to me they may go in order of um you know the the reserve list or whatever so but i just hate sitting y'all like i really i mean it's you know i'm very comfortable here cable internet all that my cousin went to work she is a a nurse um Yeah, I'm just bored. I'm making my um chai tea right now. I'm gonna sip on a little bit of this. I might go to the park or something this morning. I need to go work out and I haven't um I haven't really found anywhere around here to work out. I don't want to get a membership at anybody's gym because they don't have my gym out here. Um, I go to two gyms in Houston, Fitness Connection and then um, F45, Functional Training 45 or 
whatever I'm about to spill this. So, just shook that up a little bit. A little bit more now. Just had a little kick to it. Um, so yeah, I don't want to get another gym membership for a month. That's a waste of money. So I just need to go find a park and like just go work out there or something. Or maybe just do like some stuff on the patio outside. I don't know. I need to do something. Get my limbs to move and feeling better. <clears throat> but that's really about it y'all I just wanted to check in with y'all this morning give y'all an update and if I get a trip I'll let y'all know alright y'all I'm calling crew scheduling back again to see if this trip is still available and I'm just trying to see if I can get it <laughs> I'm on hold it's just sitting there. No, we're just gonna pick it up. Just let me have it, right? Let me have it. And it's like storming outside, I guess. And I'm having issues with the TV. I was watching. Um... Flight attendant Edwards? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so basically, yeah, I can never find you. Um... Uh, sequence at this time because I do have to go in order. Okay. Okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I knew that's what they were going to say. But you got to try. You just, you know, you never know. Maybe one day they may just be like, forget it, she wants that trip. <laughs> oh, so the trip is at... The report would be 14 um, on 14. No, 15, 5, 4. The report would be at 4.09 p.m., which means they would have to call somebody by 2.09 to give them the two hour call out. So maybe I'll be that person. But I doubt it. Like, uh, let me see the reserve list. It's so hard to look at this reserve list. It was way easier in my prior airline. <laughs> this one is just like confusing to look at. And now, is something going on with the Wi-Fi? Did the Wi-Fi go out too? Let me turn the Wi-Fi off so that I can get this to load. Number of days. Y'all, I just, I went downstairs and I meal prepped. So I got food just waiting to get packed up in my lunch kit and go. And I'm just sitting. I, like I said, it started storming, so I couldn't go to the park. I'm not going to go outside on the patio and get rained on. Just blah, blah, blah. <sighs> okay, now my phone is acting slow too. I turned the Wi-Fi off. What's going on? Um, okay, reserve list. Getting info. I mean, I get that they have to go in order, but I'm pretty sure there's probably like the next person whoever is in order doesn't want to go. Like they don't, like it's raining. Who wants to go to work? I do. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Wait, see, okay, wait. Does the 24 hour, that means they're off, right? When it says, uh, I wish I could show y'all this. Like, it, it's like just, I don't remember. Okay, oh wait, when the days are blank, that means they're available. When it says 24, 24, 24, that means they're off. I don't know what. DV and VC stand for, but I don't think they can work. But okay, so there's somebody. But what time do do they go on reserve? Oh. 
I'm trying to see who they're gonna assign this trip to is what I'm currently trying to figure out. Um, so it looks like there's one person right here that could get it because they're available for four days. Um, and there's another person, another person, another person. Boo! I ain't getting a trip. All right, update y'all later on my boring life right now. Well, y'all, change of scenery, yes I know. They called me in for airport standby. Not the call that I wanted. 1.45 to 9.45 and then 20 minutes into my airport standby, they called me to do a turn. A Baltimore turn, so Chicago to Baltimore. Baltimore back to Chicago. Um, so I'm heading there right now. All right, y'all, so it's safe. I don't think that's that safe. But while I have time, let me update y'all on what just happened. I don't think I did a very good job of it before while I was walking. So I told y'all earlier that I was just sitting at home waiting for a phone call. Um, and I wanted a trip, so they called me in for airport standby from 1.45 to 9.45. Eight hours of airport standby, all right? And then literally, as soon as I got here, maybe 20 minutes later, they called me at 202, I think they called me, um, to work a Baltimore turn. Bye. Um, to work a Baltimore turn. So I'm supposed to be done. I uh, should be back to Chicago at like 7.45 and then they told me I have to still sit and wait out the rest of my airport standby. Which, whatever. Um, so yeah, I mean I'm grateful. I'd rather be flying than sitting. Um, that's for sure. So I'm on the aircraft. I'm on the Embraer 145. One flight attendant plane. I think the flight time is like an hour and a half there and probably a little bit longer coming back. So, yeah, I'll just put on a little lip because as y'all can see, I don't have no makeup on. So, at least I can have a little, a little lipstick to make me look a little more. Hi, welcome my course. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let me go try to get a brief from my captain, first officer. You're not really good at doing briefs here. Okay, so update guys. This is what they call a reposition flight, aka old school term, but I know would be like a ferry flight. So basically you're moving an aircraft without any customers from one place to the next. So when I went to go talk to my pilots, they told me that. And I was like, oh, Chris Kershaw didn't even mention that. So this is a waste of lip gloss. <laughs> um, but technically, we are going to have two customers. I guess we have two deadheading um, maintenance people on board going to Baltimore. So I'm assuming that I'm working the flight back to Chicago. So... I can't be mad. Like, I've never had an uh, actual ferry flight. So I don't have to do any work. I mean, I ain't even gotta do nothing. Just chill, basically. Probably will still do the safety demo since technically I have two passengers or customers on board. Um, so I'm just gonna be safe and do that. Um, but that's kind of cool. I always wanted to work a ferry flight, so this is like semi-ferry. I'm going to consider it a ferry flight, or how, whatever they call a reposition flight. Um, yeah, so, yay for me. I really just have to do work on one flight. And then hopefully when I get back, I'll just sit for the two hours. They don't really assign me anything else. Because two hours, I mean, unless they're just going to send me somewhere to lay over, it's like close. It's not a lot of time to get a lot of stuff done, you know? Can't really go anywhere in two hours. Um, yeah. Well, this is 
Mexico isn't even showing me the load for to come back. I got my eyebrows threaded the other day, y'all, and they do not, like, she did not do a good job, like, right in here. Does not look fresh at all. That was like a waste of ten dollars. But I won't complain. You know, I did just complain. I won't complain. Yeah. So the flight back, I have a full flight. Forty-nine customers out of fifty. Um. Yeah. I mean, okay, whatever. That's easy. So we're supposed to get back at. 7.48 and then I sit until 9.45 for the remainder of my airport standby and then I can go I don't know what I should do because I don't know what I've been assigned yet for tomorrow um hopefully, oh by 6 o'clock tonight I should know what I'm assigned for tomorrow um, so depending on if they give me wrap again or if I actually get a trip, I might use a commuter hotel just to stay in the area. So I don't know if I've said or not before, but commuting from my cousin's house takes me an hour if I take the train and the bus. Um, today I took an Uber because I was kind of lollygagging. And even that Uber, I did Uber pool, that was $18 and something cents from my cousin's house. And of course they added on a passage to a person. And I wanna say it almost took me a good, a full hour, even in the Uber. So, uh, what was my point? <laughs> I've been forgetting my points here lately. Yeah, I don't wanna um, have to basically commute back to my cousin's house and then commute back to the airport tomorrow, especially if I have a trip. Um, so we'll see. Of course, I'll, I'll let y'all know what happens. Um, but yeah, big chilling. I can eat my food. Mind my food. It's, it's lighting though. Really good. It's like. Okay, say hi, introduce yourself. Hey guys, my name is Camilo. I'm a flight attendant based in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And I'm from Miami, Florida, and I've been actually asking her for like three months to so like let me be in the vlog. So thank you, Alexa. <laughs> me and Camilla were in the same class together. Now we're sitting airport standby together. for the first time, actually. Yeah, right. Yeah. So y'all know I just did that turn. Now I'm back. It's I got back at right at 7:45, and my airport standby doesn't end until 9:45. So. I have to sit here for two hours. Where am I supposed to be looking at? Right here. here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You've been staring at yourself? Yeah. Because you're cute. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh. You need to yeah. your CBT. I know. So, as you guys know, I'm Alexa's biggest fan. <laughs> I think some people on there are going to have to no. be like, I beg to differ. It's me. Oh, okay. It's, it's me. I'm sure, yeah. My biggest fan right here. <laughs> me and him, y'all. <laughs> Um, tell them something exciting. This is your first time being a flight attendant, right? Yeah, first time. First um, time. Well, tell them, okay, tell them a little bit of what you're doing, your process, because you're training to be a pilot. Yeah, so I currently, I did my flight training in San Diego, California. I'm getting my hours right now to be a commercial pilot for American Airlines. And now I send my resume for Envoy. Oops, I wasn't supposed to say that, right? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I send my resume for our airline. A few months ago, and then they say that they wanted to interview me. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go. Just, let's just go make the interview, and here I am now. Yeah. So on my time off, I just go and do my flying hours, and I fly between like cities in Florida, and then when I'm working, then I'm in Chicago. So when are you gonna be done training for pilot stuff? So I still have like about probably like a year. Okay. And okay. then once I'm done with my instrument license, then I'll be applying to the 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 envoy program that they have for like employees or like yeah. anyone who wants to like transition from like being a flight attendant to be a pilot. So I'll, I'll, so I'll be doing that. Oh, we'll see you. You think being a flight attendant will make you a better pilot? Well, I feel like <laughs> I mean <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I don't know. I have no idea. I, I have feel no like goals it will give me a way 
of understanding flight attendants more because mm -hmm. we go through a lot of work as well just like pilots mm -hmm. so sometimes just by like being working with them i would probably know how to like interact yeah interact really more with them and then work better with them because yeah. i know what, we, what they've been through before and mm -hmm. all the important work we actually like they actually or we actually do yeah when we can because we're pretty much like the doctors of the sky pretty much yeah yeah, we just First don't. responders of yeah, the. Yeah, we just don't put like, like we mo like we do more than like serving Serve drinks. Serve peanuts. Yeah, and we all serve peanuts. Yeah, cookies and pretzels. Cookies Coke. and pretzels. Yeah, cookies and pretzels. Okay. So it's more than that, obviously, but I feel like it would be just a way to like yeah. treat them with more respect than yeah. usually. I agree. I think that's yeah. awesome. Awesome. I keep looking at. Sorry, I keep looking at the. <laughs> The screen, it's hard not to look at it because sometimes I'm in here like this and make sure I'm cute. Yeah, things like there's good lighting, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. So, what's your opinion about pilots sometimes? My opinion about pilots? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't really like to to lump people into one whole like stereotype people. But, I mean, if I want to be honest but kind of vague i think pilots are boring boring okay yeah i mean i've heard that before yeah. i just think they're kind of boring i feel like people think we have like exciting lives like even with flight attendants like yeah well you know i've met a few when i was at JetBlue. i i met a lot of pilots that actually weren't boring okay but i do think they have to be um just based on the job you have to just be very focused as a pilot and sometimes a lot of them come you know you hear a lot of flight tents kind of complain about pilots they think you know they think they're god and would you ever be a pilot no i have no desire to do that oh. mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, that's just too much work would you treat me differently if i ever a pilot than a flight attendant or would you treat no me? i don't know i treat everybody on the, like okay. we, we're all here just regardless of pay, you just make a little bit more than I do, pilot, sure. sir. I mean, no, yeah, I'm still a pilot. Well, yeah, <laughs> but these other ones. Yeah. But I mean, no, I mean, I like to treat people all the same. They are That's who right. they are. You just got a different job title. Yeah. You know, you came out your mama's womb just like I did. So, yeah, that's really. Y'all say thanks to Camilo. Maybe Bye, we'll see him another time on the blog. Hopefully, if I get the privilege. <laughs> yeah, you'll get the privilege. I'm sure they're gonna be like, "Ooh, who's that cutie?" <laughs> hey, I'll tell you when I post it. It'll be like a few really? months from now. Okay. Because I'm. Please tell me. I'm just now posting waiting. my training vlogs. Oh really? Yeah, I waited. I didn't like the last time I did training. I was posting while I was in training. This time I didn't want to do that just because okay. my channel grew and. It would have just been a lot to kind of keep up with and comment and I like to respond and interact so I just decided to wait until okay. after training. So vlogs are a little delayed but y'all will be okay. Okay because what today is September 3rd so who knows when this will be posted. Anyways bye y'all talk later. So who wants to know something funny? 15 minutes before my airport standby was supposed to end. 15 minutes y'all, crew scheduling called me with another trip. <laughs> so I just worked one last leg to Columbus and now I'm here for overnight. We leave tomorrow at like 4 p.m. So I guess I got what I wanted. That's why you gotta be careful what you ask for. I definitely got what I wanted. I wanted overnight tonight and I got one. So it is midnight now in Columbus and me and all these guys <laughs> are going to the hotel. Five, five guys. My other flight attendants and the guy, the two pilots, and then we had two dead-headed pilots. And I'm the only girl. I know I like being the only girl. <laughs> Queen of the crew. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm tired. Good night.